You awake? I'm Mildred Templeton, the wife of the man you've been screwing for the past four months. But you can call me Millie, if I ever let you talk again. I used a rather large dose of lidocaine. You're numb from the neck down, and you can't move. So I can do this. Oh no, dear. You see, you didn't feel a bit of that. Make that up. I suppose you're trying to tell me you're sorry. It's very civil of you, my dear. You know, Rant said he was sorry too. Fine gesture to be sure, but somehow a bit hollow. You know, I don't think he was as sorry as he made out to be. After all, you're a very attractive woman. I accepted his apology with the same warmth and love that it was given. Sweetie, did you know you have herpes? I know you have herpes. You see, he had herpes. I have herpes. You know, dear, you have great taste in jewelry. Let me tell you about the happiest day of my life. Rance and I stood before my family. His family. Our collective group of friends. In front of God and promised to be faithful. I can live with a divorce. I can't live with looking like a fool. Well, that was clever. Go to hell. Ooh, I understood that, all right. You know, everything that I thought I was is a joke. Everything I had is gone. Dignity, self-respect, love, nothing left of any of them. I'm not a person anymore. All that I am is hate. And all that I have left to express that hate is you. I am in hell with my love. I just wanted you here with me. I found something in your bathroom. Do we have a bun in the oven, my dearest? Oh, but you don't know, do you? Rance and I tried for years to conceive. I always wanted a little girl play dress up with. Rance would always say, it's one less mouth to feed. <laughs> I busted my ass and every other hole in my body to get the privilege to bear a child. Congratulations. You're a mom. Ah, I wonder what the little deer would do if it knew what was destroyed to bring it into this world. That it was the feces created when my own world and shit it back out at me. I know you think I enjoy this. That I get some perverse pleasure from torturing the woman that stole my husband from me. 
Don't cry. It's almost over. In fact, there's only one more thing I have to do before the night is over. <laughs>